Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron. Glad you're with us today. Pick this up at Roses in beautiful Douglas, Georgia, Coffee County. Kind of my hometown. Mom and Dad both are from there, both buried there. And so this is so fantastic. It was like $12 and something. And uh, you won't believe it once we get inside. I haven't checked Nelson's uh, Bible list, whether this comes in like leathers and all this kind of stuff, leather soft. But I was so impressed with that. It says it's black leather flex. Now, let's just get it out of the slip cover here. And leather flex is not leather soft. It's more your traditional um, cardboard imitation leather. It's not nearly the quality. It does have interestingly enough like a decorative headband it's beautiful gold gold uh, edging it's very thin I think I'm moving too fast for sister Waldron sorry about that it's very thin and so it's a lay flat which is my own says right on the cover here lay flat now some Bibles say lay flat and they're not lay flat but let's see if this one is. Let's go to Genesis and see if it lays flat in Genesis. Yeah, it does. And if you break a Bible like this in, you need to, this is called relaxing the spine, especially on a Bible like this, even though it's Smith's own, you'd still want to do it. It'll just last you a real long time. But you see in Exodus 30, it's doing good. But here's what I was so impressed with. It's not only center column reference, but look at the size of that print. Now, I'm going to go ahead and measure this Bible as well. Because it is just the size. I could see a lot of preachers using this. You know, a lot of people uh, use what I call imitation Allen Bibles. Which are the Nelson King James Bibles, large print like imperial references from the 70s, 1970s. They are, you know, imitation uh, Allens. They're just fantastic. So it's only nine and a half inches high. And where this thing's going to shine is in how thin it is. And it does come with a ribbon marker. We'll look at the ribbon marker in just a moment. And so it is also about right at six and a half inches wide and again it is leather flex not leather soft i appreciate all of you reading the word of god that's the most important thing is to read the truth of the word of god that word is truth it is forever settled it is true from the beginning but now look at this for a giant print it is only one and a quarter inches thick thin lines there's thin lines are normally inch or less thick but uh inch and a quarter is just amazing so let's get back inside it does have just a little presentation page for twelve dollars you know i'm just so shocked you can just get the words of life what you're going to be judged by for twelve dollars and then look at this it comes with introductions before each book that is fantastic you know nelson really pioneered the comfort print holman i've seen is coming out with things done by uh, 2k denmark as well that is just fantastic so let's see about headers and margins Okay, so it's going to have about a half inch margin, which is fantastic. Um, 0.375 at the top. The gutter is about four tenths of an inch. And at the bottom, it's going to have a half inch margin, which is, you know, writable, if you know what I'm saying, at least for me. And I'm sitting here. It may be more like 0.45 on the side. Great center column reference. And another 
plus of this Bible is the center column reference is in larger print. You know, a lot of times, and many of you have heard me complain about this, that I'm going to try to find a red letter place. Like they'll come out with a giant print Bible and like the concordance is microscopic print or something. So you want the study helps. If somebody's reading a giant print Bible, you want the study helps to be in giant print. You know, Alexander Scorby used to do the CDs for the blind and they became so popular, they were on albums. I may have done a review on the albums of the Scorby one time years ago and uh, he's just the best. I actually have like something to do with Scorby and same way with giant print. Giant print normally came out with you know for people with with visually impaired but eventually a lot of people just uh, like them. I did want to mention on the red letter perfect perfect I can't believe for this price Bible twelve dollars and something um, that the red letter is so good and this red letter in uh, Revelation it has like the miracles of Jesus the parables of Jesus a one-year reading plan very economically done let me say that and what I mean I mean that as a positive that it's it's uh, doesn't take up a lot of space a lot of information in the space and then we'll show you the concordance there's the reading plan and here's the concordance now the concordance is an extremely comprehensive concordance when I say extreme, for a reference Bible, it's probably a mid concordance. It's not like a study Bible concordance, it's not like a Thompson or a Dake or something like that. But uh, the print is not fantastic. So let's take a look. I'll also give you the measurements, not only for carryability, but if you want a Bible covenant. But the print, let me just say, the print's okay. It's 12 point print in the Bible. Let's see what kind of print this is going to be. It's not nine point. Um, boy, it fits right on the seven point, but it's readable. It's not minuscule. It's not six point, four point like some. Oh, and let's see how many pages. But it does look like it's like the 2K Denmark deal. Let's see how many pages the concordance is, because I noticed it's pretty good size. So it's from 1489 to 1556. That is 67 pages of concordance. That a lot. Also has a note regarding the type. This Bible was set in the Thomas Nelson KJV typeface commissioned by Thomas Nelson and designed by Aris by Klaus Krog and Heidi Ron Sorensen of 2K Denmark. The design takes inspiration from a distinctive typeface found in early Thomas Nelson Novum Testamentum printed in 1844 in Edinburgh. And so it's just 200 year tradition of stewarding the KJV. And uh, Nelson has really updated their maps. Let's see, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight maps. It doesn't have Israel going through water on the Exodus, which when I pointed that out to Thomas Nelson, they said they had no idea. But very nice maps. Thomas Nelson's not been known for their maps. Abingdon has been known for their maps. Schuyler's got good maps. Holman's always been ahead of the game in maps. I did want to show you the gold edging is fairly well done as well. Now, the print is done by 2K Denmark. This is not printed by Royal Youngblood or anything. I'm going to guess it's a Chinese print, but I don't know that for sure. Guaranteed for life. And one last thing I said we were going to do is we were going to look at the ribbon marker. Excellent ribbon marker. Let's see how long this ribbon marker is. It is three and a half inches. And it is about 0 0.2 inches thick. So just really good ribbon marker. Very good. Good red letter.
can't believe this was just twelve dollars yeah printed in china has the epistle dedicatory in it and then just get started with the bible good introductions let's see if the introductions is conservative yeah i mean it really doesn't say it's just informative so uh man what can i say great bible just keep reading the bible thank you so much for watching share with your friends check out our playlist hit subscribe bell notification join us every day god bless we love you in jesus name